How are you guys doing today? Again, my name is Peter Collins, and I am owner-operator of Heroes Care to Rental. And today, we're doing a tutorial on how to build a Black Mantis costume, or for right now, just a helmet. But uh, you'll see in a while all of the things that you need to buy, and keep looking at the film, and we will tell you a little bit more. And I'm going to show you how to cost effectively put together a black manta suit. Now, the thing is, um, right here, these are squirrel baffles. Um, you get those at Amazon. That is going to be one of the things that's going to cost you the most. And you're going to need two of them. And these are, I think they're called the North Squirrel Baffles or the North American Squirrel Baffles. But you want to get those. There are, There is another type. They're clear. They actually look like they would be a better, a better fit for the uh, Black Manta suit. Um, but I like to work with these or I'm going to work with these because uh, in, a, in a, someone else's video, I actually saw them using these and I thought that these might be the best thing. The other thing, these are uh, light bulb covers, but you want to get not the glass ones, the plastic ones. You can get these at either Home Depot or Lowe's or any uh, uh, that type of uh, store. These right now, it's it's uh, late November uh, 2018, and these are actually the oversized Christmas bulbs that you can get to hang outside. Why did I get these? Well, because they're a soft plastic. I'm going to take these bottoms off and these will be great for the shoulders. So these I'm going to use for the, for the uh, rockets for the back and these for the shoulders. Now, these are approximately six and a half inches, but you can actually use the, the bigger ones that are eight inches. I'm a small guy. The guy that I'm going to have play um, uh, Black Manta is a small guy, so I got the smaller ones so that proportionately they would look better on the back. Um, these are, I, I got these at the 99 cent store. Now, for my last incarnation of this suit, I'm going to actually use uh, football shoulder pads, but for right now, I can use these. I got three for, for, for a very special reason. Two, I'm going to glue them uh, to each other like this and then probably have to cut out a little bit for the, uh, for the head to go through. Um, but I bought this one just to have extra material. Got it at the 99 cent store, so three bucks. Got this also at the 99 cent store. Um, I'm going to cut this up and use it for uh, or for backing. I got these at the 99 cent store. So why these? Well, in the Black Manta Rockets, you'll see that um, there are some uh, uh, looks like access holes that are drilled. So what I'm going to do is once I drill those holes, I'm going to put this in and they're going to lay down to the rim here and i'm going to put a, a a crossing handle right here and uh actually going to use the top of this deodorant to just put it right in there of course i'm going to um i would cut it lower and put it in there myself because I do have some uh, some AB resin I'm going to actually grease the inside of that pour it in and then um, and, and make two of those that way uh, but it's I could have just bought uh, two of those they're 99 cents each again got all of this at the 99 cent store uh, one of the other things that I did do is I ordered the Black Manta costume. Now, why did I do this? Was because I couldn't figure out anything else that would get me the helmet or the eyes as I wanted. And I could probably use a lot of these pieces from here. Might even use the suit um, at least for the, for, for the first incarnation 
of the suit. But after I got this, and I think this was like 50 bucks on eBay, I actually found these sport fitness pants. Of course, they they are fitted, so they will fit your skin pretty tight. And also a shirt. So the pants were like $14 and the shirt like $9. So figure about $21, $22, $23 for that. These were like $8 a piece. The bigger ones are like $9 a piece. These were $5 a piece. Um, uh, $6 a piece. So uh, you can go from there. I believe, I believe these were $30 a piece. So two of them, $60. Now the other things you're going to need is adhesive so I bought this type of adhesive because it's for plastic bonding because that's what I'm I, it, it's very hard to have plastic bond so um, I have this it says it's high strength and action and, and stuff like that but I also bought this fiberglass mat and what I'm gonna do is on the inside uh, where where the two where the two meet I'm gonna actually use this to overlay for the top and the bottom after I get it pretty secured then I'm gonna overlay this for added strength inside but mixing sticks also at the 99 cent store and I bought this um, sandpaper because I just want to rough up the edge edges of the um, of the uh, of the squirrel baffles, just so that it gives it gives the uh, the uh, adhesive something to grip to. But I also had found that I already had some 400 paper, which is very light. But you know, uh, I I also just brought that uh, as well with me. So let's let's get to putting this together. So remember I told you to get three, I'm sorry, two of those Christmas ornaments from Home Depot or Lowe's? Get three. So why three? Well, one, of course, you're going to use two, one each for the shoulders. And what's so good is that the, uh, the little uh, screw-on piece at the bottom makes a nice little uh, cuff for your, for your shoulder piece. But I'll show you later. Um, exactly what you need for your shoulders. Okay. Remember I told you buy two of these, buy three. The reason you're going to buy three is because the, the other one you're going to actually use for your eyes. Now, of course this, this is red and it's not really opaque so you can't really see through it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole right here and then put a screen over it so I'll be able to see out because your head is actually back here, which means your eyes are back here. So it's going to be kind of hard to see out of this. 
the other thing most of the stuff that you can just get and remember this what I'm telling you is just an option is flat and a lot of people use the um, uh, the red opaque plastic that, that you can see through that's for your dividers for your notebooks and stuff like this I did want a little bit more of uh, something rounded um, and then I used the the foam here from uh, from Home Depot I'm sorry from uh, Michaels so it's the craft foam that you can foam that you can use and I also used it on the top here so that's what you can use for that now remember I told you to get these at Home Depot or Lowe's you can you can do that as well and the the top the top of this uh, this cup that I that I bought from uh, the 99 cent store I cut a hole in this with my Dremel and then uh, and then seated it down onto there and I actually glued it inside as you can see this was a Merry Christmas one and I used both epoxy and hot glue to seat it and this rim actually keeps it up top. Um, so I think that those those are two excellent things that I wanted to add to this video for you to do but I found something even better now remember this is cheap it's from the 99 cent store just get it put it on no problem and then you can use um, uh, a straight piece right here or even the top of a, um, uh, a deodorant uh, uh, for, for the uh, um, uh, brush on or rub on deodorant you can use that top to glue in the here to, to make that that handle space but guess what I found a little bit more expensive but you can also put a um, use the recessed lighting get the three inch one uh, and put that on but the thing is those are anywhere between 20 and $30 a piece which means you're talking for two uh, two of them you're talking $60 so that's something maybe later I'll, I'll put on a video and show you or whatever but um, those work really well because they have a surrounding to them which I was just going to use some of the craft foam to put around here uh, to give me to give me that same look for after I painted it and I think before I said that this was six inches it's actually approximately eight inches and these are the little light covers that go over your light bulb in your house they have a eight inch and they have a I think it's a 10 or 12 inch something like that this one uh, plastic make sure you get the plastic one because they have replacements that are glass and plastic the glass actually costs less but of course you can't cut through it um, so you want to get the plastic ones like I said I got the smaller ones because of their size it'll be better to fit two and then put the put that middle piece on the back for someone of my stature um, where whereas someone who is bigger six foot tall or taller you might want to use the bigger ones to put your two rocket pods on okay so I just wanted to add that so you can see this in its semi-finished portion. You see I cut that top off. I cut an opening here. And I actually cut an opening here, um, which you can do. What I'm, do what I'm doing is I'm actually fitting a, uh, a vent piece from a, uh, a Mini Cooper right in here. Um, but you can also cut this out. Again, sand it really nice and put uh, a double layer of the craft foam in there so that one would uh, be over the other can overlap the other and it'll give you a nice look for there and then you can put over, over that the other look from um, uh, the movie or the toy I actually got two of the toys the large one and, and the small one to help me with this just remember that the toys aren't as accurate as maybe they should be because they actually have to get those out of the mold so they're not going to be perfectly accurate 
uh, the taller of the uh, of the two Black Manta uh, toys, the figures, you'll notice that the tallest one will actually have a flattened in this way, a flattened head because well they just needed to fit into the box better, whereas the smaller toy will have a more accurate rounder head, but you get to see more detail with the bigger one. So it's kind of like I bought them both so that I can see, see a little bit more detail. But that's the main thing I wanted to add is that get three of, of the, um, of the uh, uh, light bulb decorations and use, use one of them to make the eyes. Now as you can see, I, I usually what I did is I cut it in half and then I went from the top of one half to uh, cut out the eye. Now, Remember, they don't have to be perfect because you're going to surround them with, with, the, uh, with the eyelids. So, again, for, um, for uh, Her um, Heroes Character Rental, and now you can see how I make some of my costumes because I want my costumes to be a little bit more detailed than the ones off the shelf. So, there's your tip. Thank you.